Hi everyone, it's Ben from Trek It and I'm out here with Harry in the Brecon Beacons. It is a slightly dreary day today, but that's perfect because we're going to be going through the Montane Phase family of waterproof jackets. There are four jackets currently in the Montane Phase range and we'll be going through all of them over the course of this little walk that we're going to do through the beacons. But for the sake of ease through this video, I'm going to be wearing just the Phase jacket, which is sort of the middle of the road one um, in this lovely oak green colour. But we're going to take on a walk and over the course of the walk we'll talk through the features, the fit, any differences between the family range. So stay tuned and we'll talk you through the Montane Phase family. Is that camera level? So the Phase Light, as you may have guessed, is the lightest that we currently have in the Phase family. It's designed for sort of better breathability and more active pursuits rather than all out durability that you'll see in some of the rest of the range. So lighter face fabrics, it's a little bit more breathable because it uses a different type of Gore-Tex to the rest of the range. And it's just designed for higher pace activities. Think trail running, biking, just normal running in it. So next in the family is just the Phase Jacket. You can think of this a little bit like their sort of core range. The Phase is arguably the most versatile in the range because it's just a little bit more of an all-round jacket than the Phase Light. So slightly heavier denier fabrics, it moves over to Gore-Tex Performance and it's the jacket that you'll probably use for walking, hiking, even sort of light scrambling and mountain use because it's just got more durable face fabrics. Moving up the range again, you then have the Phase XT. So you get heavier duty face fabrics again, so a, a heavier denier fabric, still using Gore-Tex Performance but the Phase XT is just a bit burlier. It's designed for sort of more mountaineering use. So you get a helmet compatible hood, it's harness compatible. It's just a little bit more useful if you are climbing, scrambling, sort of like mountaineering use. So you just get a, a tougher jacket overall. And then finally, at the top of the Phase family, you have the Phase XBD. This guy has a mix of denier fabrics with more durable fabrics in certain areas and higher wear areas. It moves over to Gore-Tex Pro. So both more durable and more breathable than Gore-Tex Performance. And it's generally designed for sort of expedition use or higher end mountaineering. So more durable, a few higher end features that you wouldn't get on the other jackets and a slightly roomier fit so you can fit more layers underneath. So we've carried on with our walk a little bit now. And we've just got to a convenient point where we've got a little bit of shelter just up ahead, which is a good opportunity to stop and talk you through the differences in what these jackets are made of. A few differences with the face fabrics, membranes inside and that sort of thing. So we'll stop just here with a little bit of shelter out of the weather a bit and tell you about the fabrics. So starting with the Phase Light, the Phase Light uses the lightest face fabric in the Phase family, coming in at 30 denier. So it is a lighter weight, slightly less durable, but still highly abrasion resistant fabric. So it feels a little bit softer, a little bit easier to move in, but it's generally lighter weight. And that is teamed with a Gore-Tex Active membrane. So Gore-Tex Active is the most breathable membrane that Gore-Tex do. It does require a little bit more care and attention to maintain the breathability. And that's a, a sacrifice that you have to make a little bit for a jacket that is going to be more active. If you want a jacket that is going to be still very breathable, but a little bit more durable long-term, then you can look at something that's in either Gore-Tex Pro most breathable, like the Phase XPD that we'll talk about in a little bit, or just something in Gore Performance where you still get very good levels of breathability, but the face fabrics are usually a little bit, a little bit th uh, stiffer. I was gonna say thinner, that's the wrong way around, but a little bit stiffer with the face fabric, so jumping up in the denier range for, for more durability, but this guy's designed for lighter weight, more active pursuits. So with the regular phase, you jump up from Gore-Tex Active, which is in the Phase Light, which we mentioned just a minute ago, into Gore-Tex Performance. Uh, so it's a slightly more durable version of the membrane, but does take a little bit of a hit in terms of all-out breathability, hence the Active to Performance name. Um, it's not by any means to say that Gore-Tex Performance is clammy. With the right layering system, like on a day like today, it's plenty breathable. It's just not necessarily designed for higher, high output activities. That's where Gore Active comes into play. The phase also jumps up in terms of the denier of the face fabric to 40 denier. So a little bit more abrasion resistant, a little bit more durable. They potentially expect you to be wearing a pack with it. My pack's just down there. And potentially you're going to be using it out in an environment like this where you might have the odd bumps and scrapes. So a little bit more of a durable face fabric. So the Phase XT, much like its slightly little brother, the Phase jacket also uses Gore-Tex Performance for the membrane. So the performance there is exactly the same. 
The main difference in terms of the construction is you jump up to a more durable 70 denier face fabric. Better to stand up to a little bit more punishment in this sort of environment. If you're brushing up against things, if you're climbing, scrambling, things like that, you just have an overall more durable jacket. So you jump up from 40 denier to 70. So it feels a little bit more protective, a little bit more solid. Moving on to the big boy in their range, the Montane Phase XBD. You have a change of Gore-Tex fabrics again. So Montane have decided to use Gore-Tex Pro on this particular product. Gore-Tex Pro is designed to be both the most durable and arguably a more breathable variant, apart from Gore Active, which is the most breathable version of Gore-Tex, which is especially useful in more arduous conditions. So they, more confusingly, there are three variants of Gore-Tex Pro, which we will mention in the video that Harry's gonna pop up a link to on screen now, uh, where we explain a little bit more. But essentially, this uses Gore-Tex most, Pro most breathable which is the most breathable version of Gore-Tex Pro while maintaining high levels of durability. To further enhance the durability, the face fabric is split between two different deniers on this jacket. So the main body is 40 denier. So it's a little bit lighter weight, a little bit more breathable where you don't necessarily need quite as much durability, abrasion protection, that sort of thing. And then there are 80 denier reinforcement over the shoulders, over the hips and elbows, just to help with more abrasion from rucksacks, rocks where you might be climbing, scrambling, doing a bit of mountaineering, tools and harnesses. So we've been walking for about 20, 30 minutes now along the ridge line and it's been really windy, a bit too windy for us to, to film and get anything to sort of say to camera. But we've, we've just managed to find a spot as we've dropped down back off the ridge line to somewhere that's a little bit more sheltered and it's a little bit more pleasant, so hopefully you can hear our piece of camera. So now I am back in the right jacket, the Phase Light. We can talk through the features. The Phase Light is a little bit more pared back than some of the others, so it has less features. Kind of checks out. We'll start at the top and work our way down. So it's got a, an adjustable roll-away hood with a stiffened peak. You have a single-way zip, so it's not a two-way zip on this particular jacket. You do have a little popper at the bottom. Uh, just to hold the little storm flap in place at the end there. You get two hand pockets. The hand pockets are also mesh lined, so they act as vents if you have them open. So if you are generating a lot of heat, if you are running, things like that, then those hand pockets will allow for a little more ventilation. And you've got adjustable Velcro cuffs, so I can adjust these down so they cinch nice and tight with my wrist if I want that, or I can have them a little bit looser. And then at the bottom hem, you do have draw cord adjusters. So you can cinch in this jacket, so that it doesn't ride up and seal in a little bit more around your waist. Okay, so we've jumped over back to the phase, which I've been wearing for the majority of this walk, but we actually have a view right now over to Benavan, and um, that's about the best view we've had of it all day. So fingers crossed it actually sticks around so we can have a nice view behind us. So you're not just looking at me in this admittedly still lovely green jacket. But we'll go over the features of the phase. Essentially, a lot of the features are quite similar to the phase light. You still get a through-way adjustable hood with a stiffened peak. The hood is also a touch bigger in this one, and the stiffened peak is um, a little bit broader. Moving down, you get a two-way zip this time. So I can unzip in the other direction as well. You still get that popper that holds the storm flap in place, but I've also been using that popper today, if I can do it back up without speaking too much, so that I have a little bit of extra ventilation. Um, so that you can still have the jacket majority closed, but you do get a little bit of breeze through the zip there. You have Velcro adjustable cuffs, and you also get those bottom hem adjusters, and you've got two hand pockets. So these hand pockets are behind storm flaps here. I've got them open at the moment. They are nice and big, so they will fit a map, or I'm pretty sure, because they go right up to the top of the chest here, or the Montaigne logo on this side. I reckon I could probably get a baguette in one of these pockets. Not gonna put that to the test today, but I do enjoy a baguette pocket on a jacket. Moving on to the Phase XT, you jump up in uh, to a few different features, but we'll start at the top and move our way down again. So first and foremost, you have a helmet compatible this time, uh, roll away hood with three points of adjustment and a stiffened peak. So this hood is quite a bit bigger than the others so that you can accommodate a helmet. Moving down, you have a two-way zip, again with a popper on the bottom. You get Velcro adjustable cuffs. You get two hand pockets that are again nice and big. Probably reckon you could get a baguette in these as well. About the same size that go right up to the Montaigne logo here. So nice and big. You also get an internal pocket, internal zip pocket on this guy. 
adjustable bottom hem. And I think that's about it, unless I've forgotten something. Harry's mentioning that I have forgotten something by pointing at his armpits, which probably means that I've forgotten to mention that this guy has pit zips, which it does. And finally, with the Phase XPD, you get a couple more features, again, added on to the features of the Phase XT. So they have a few more similarities than the rest of the range. So you still get that three-point adjustable hood that is roll away with a stiffened peak. Moving down, you have a two-way zip with that popper with the storm guard. Again, I'm not going to undo it again. You get Velcro adjustable cuffs. You get articulated sleeves. They're a little bit more articulated than some of the others. So for reaching up overhead, you get slightly better paneling on this. So you get less hem rise with the jacket if you are climbing and reaching overhead. And then you've got those pit zips as well for more ventilation. You get two hand pockets and an external chest pocket this time instead of an internal, but you also get an internal stretch sort of dump pocket that's useful for a set of gloves, things like that, if, if you need to stash anything extra, a spare beanie, just something that you want to keep inside the jacket so it's nicely, nicely protected. And then in terms of adjustment on the bottom, you have those draw cords again. Just filming some B-roll. <laughs> so we've dropped back down now from the ridge line, and this is a really good opportunity to show you where we've been. So we started way off over there off camera and then we've gone up all the way around this ridge line all the way over there and then dropped back down and we're now about a mile away from the car so we're just sort of wrapping up our walk a little bit and i'm gonna to have to go very careful here because harry is walking backwards and trying not to trip over anything to the point he's concentrating because he's got his tongue sticking out of his mouth and he's about to walk into a big rock so we'll cut there so last major thing to talk about with the phase series phase family is the fit and before we get into it i'm going to mention that the microphone is now on the center of my head more will be explained in a second but i had to move michael so that he was out of the way of all the jackets so when it comes to fit they do separate themselves out into into different fit blocks which kind of goes with the expected end use of them so the phase xpd the one i've got on the outside at the moment is the most generous fit it's designed for sort of expedition use or just bigger days out on the mountain where you're expected to wear more layers so you maybe have a down layer underneath this or more layers than you would traditionally wear if you're out walking on a nicer day so this is in a bigger boxy fit i must mention that all of the jackets i've got on today are in size large if you fall between sizes i would recommend going for the bigger size so if you normally fall between sizes in other brands if you're more really like top end of a medium but end of a large go for the bigger sizes because montane sizing is still a little bit more conservative than some of our other brands but the XPD is a bigger, more generous fit. It is fairly long in the sleeve. I've got long arms. I'm six foot three with 43 inch chest. And um, I've got a positive ape index. So the sleeves are actually really good on this guy. Work really well for me. You may find they're a little bit long, but that's why you've got those Velcro adjusters. So next, I'm like an onion right now, this is great. Next, you have the XT which is still a fairly generous fit. It's still designed for layers. Um, so I could still get a down jacket onto this, but where I would have a lighter weight down jacket or a lighter weight insulator uh, and mid layer on underneath the XT, the XPD, I could get a heavier weight down jacket on and still have good mobility, good flexibility. Dropping down again, we then have, it's getting really windy. Oh, we then have the XT. Sorry, no, this is the XT that I'm taking off. I'm losing all train of thought because it's really windy. <laughs> I'm about to lose a jacket. But the standard phase then has a slimmer fit. So I've got a base layer on and another jacket underneath this. Earlier I was wearing a mid layer as well, but it is definitely more of a trim fit. This is where it starts to get in the territory where you might need to go up a size if you normally fall between the sizes. And finally, I'm running out of hands here for the jackets. But we'll get there. We'll get there. In terms of fit, we have the phase light. The phase light is a lot more fitted, would sort of arguably be considered an active fit or a slim fit. Um, it does still fit me. The sleeves are still long enough for my long noodle arms, but it is definitely closer fit to the body. Realistically, you're using this with lighter weight layers underneath again, because you're doing something higher output, more active, so you don't need as much insulation. You just need wind and waterproofing. So we've just made it back to the car, which explains all of the traffic noise that we're getting now. So we pop back down off the hill and that's a little rundown on the Phase family from Montaigne. Right through from the Phase Lite, the Phase, the Phase XT and then the big boy, the Phase XPD. 
Both of those are available in both men's and women's in a range of size, uh, full sizes and colours that are available on our website and there will be a link that appears on screen now that Harry's going to pop in. So if you'd like to shop the full range, please do click there. If you'd like any further information on the products or have any questions that you'd like to ask us about any future videos or just anything you'd like to say to us, please pop them down in the comments below. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. The structural integrity of the moustache has um, completely failed on this journey.